Renata, thank you. Starting today, nearly $3 million in grants will be rolling in to help with Jacksonville's homeless population. And a good portion of that money is going to the organization Changing Homelessness. Leah Shields is live this morning in downtown Jacksonville. So Leah, the question is, are there more people who are homeless in the city now than before the pandemic started? Good morning, Heather. Well, those numbers, they're just not known right now. It's still too early to tell, but I did speak with the CEO of Changing Homelessness, Don Gilman, and she tells me there's two things as to reasons why you might be seeing more homeless people downtown. There's actually several behind me right here on Bay Street. One of them is that more places are closed right now, so they're out and about in different areas of town since they can't get services in certain areas. The other reason, just perception. Simply when you're safe at home, staying at home, trying to protect yourself from COVID-19, it becomes a glaring issue when you see people who don't have a home. Jacksonville from above can be a stark contrast to the ground level view. People sleeping under trees and garbage bags full of belongings. So the good news is our service providers know how to work with people and help them find housing and then help support them once they're in that housing. That takes money. Since March 17th, Gilman says they've moved 50 homeless veterans and their families off the streets with money from the CARES Act. The work continues with the Housing and Urban Development Emergency Solutions Grant. She says 1.2 million from the state and 1.7 million from the city of Jacksonville. The city grant gives the money to move people to hotel and motel rooms. The state grant will focus on moving people out of hotels and into a permanent home in 30 days or less. I am cautiously optimistic um, with this first round of funding that we can at least stem the tide on um, people, help those people who are already homeless and extremely vulnerable to this virus. That 1.2 million should be coming in today and the other 1.7 million she expects to come in by October 1st. Now, as for what do the homeless population do for COVID-19? Well, Gilman tells me the city of Jacksonville actually has a shelter task force. It's been in place since March 17th when the pandemic began here. And what they do is they help screen people who are going into shelters and they provide isolation areas if someone does need to quarantine. In downtown Jacksonville, Leah Shields, First Coast News on your side.